welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about these really cool heatless curling hair bands um, called Savvy Curls. And so I have the single band and I have the convertible band. And what they are is they're these cool headbands and they're filled with this foam or insulation. I'm not totally sure, but it helps to curl your hair. It works with the heat of your head to curl your hair. And I like to wear these when I'm sleeping. So I'm going to show you the difference between the single and the convertible. Alright, so I wash my hair in the morning and this is right before I'm going to go to bed. So I'm going to take my dry shampoo, I like the Batiste, and I spray this into my roots and I leave it on for about 30 seconds and then I will massage it into my head. I like to wash my hair about every three, four days. <laughs> um, and I find the dry shampoo, if I spray it in at night, it really helps to absorb all those oils and make my hairstyle last longer. Now I'm just going to take my wet brush and I'm going to make sure I brush out all of my tangles to make sure it's perfect and smooth for when we put in the head wrap. Now this next step is crucial for making your curls last. I'm going to put mousse throughout my hair. This is just one from Dove. You can use anything that you like. And I'm just going to massage that in to the bottom like three-fourths of my hair just so that it really helps to make sure that that curl really stays and holds into place. Now I'm going to take my single band head wrap, you can see the insulation through it, and then this flat part right here, this is what's going to go across your bangs, and you're just going to pop that right on your head, just like this. And I'm going to start by taking small sections, and you wrap it just like this around the band, and you keep going every time you add more hair, and you just keep wrapping until you get in the back. Now I like my curls to be a little more loose and glamorous, but if you want tighter curls, you're going to take smaller sections and you're going to wrap it a lot tighter. So you can see I'm taking bigger sections and I'm wrapping it a little more loose. If I feel like a piece still has some tangles in it, I will go back in and brush it just to make sure that when I wrap it, it stays nice and smooth. And now that this is my last piece, I'm going to leave this side hanging out just like so. And then we're gonna start and repeat on the other side. Alright, now that all those pieces are done, I'm just going to grab both of those ends and I'm going to wrap them together around the base and then I'm going to take bobby pins and just secure those ends into place. And there you go, it's all wrapped and ready to go and now I am going to go to sleep. <laughs> now good morning, here I am, you can tell I have slept on it all night, I have showered and I am all ready to go, all that's left is my hair so I'm going to take those bobby pins out and I'm going to start unwrapping all of my hair. Now as you can see as I'm pulling it out, it looks a little messy, but don't be afraid. It's kind of like flat iron curls where you have to kind of manipulate them and like twirl them back into place after you take them out. So I'm just going to pop this off and I'm going to start raking my fingers through it. 
and then I just brush through them. Don't be afraid to do that. I like a little more glamorous wave to my hair, um, so that's where that will come into place. And then I also will go in with my oil, and I'll go through my hair, and then I also like to blow out my bangs again. But there you go, this is the end result with the single wrap. Alright, so back at it again with the convertible wrap. I started out the same process. I washed my hair in the morning and here I am with straighter hair at night. I just like to do this because I have more frizzy hair and this way my curls turn out more smooth and pretty at the end. So going in with my dry shampoo as always and spraying my roots. So with the convertible wrap, you have to section off a piece or a section of your hair right at the crown of your head. So you can see I'm doing that here and I'm just gonna twist it up and clip it up. I'm gonna make sure all those pieces are staying up there so that when I put the wrap on, these se this section is ready to go for that convertible piece. So you can see there's the flat part that goes over on my bangs and then we're just gonna pop it on. Um, just like the single wrap, but that section that I roped off, it's gonna go between those two pieces at the bottom. And when I turn around, you'll be able to see that. So now I'm going to take my mousse and go in with that bottom section first. And I'm just going to put that throughout my ends and my veins, as you can see. And now I'm just going to start wrapping my hair like normal and I'm going to wrap two pieces above the convertible piece as you can see that I'm doing and then you'll just continue to wrap it behind the convertible piece. I'm just going to go in and repeat the same process on the other side. And then just like the single wrap, when those two pieces meet at the back, when I have everything wrapped, I'm just going to continue to wrap them around the band, and then I'm going to take the bobby pins and secure them into place. I usually take about two to four to do this. Now we're just going to let down that top section of hair, and we're going to start out by brushing it all out, make sure all the tangles are out, and then take the mousse just like before and we're going to continue to wrap it the same as before. We're going to split it into two halves and wrap one side and then we'll wrap the next side and then they'll meet in the middle and then we'll wrap the ends together and bobby pin them into place.
we have it. The convertible wrap is all wrapped up. You can see this is what it looks like. It has two sections, gives you a little more curl. And now I'm just going to go to sleep just like before. And I will see you when I wake up. And good morning again. As you can see <laughs> how I've slept, it looks a little messy. And this is what it looks like. It stayed in place and everything's ready to go. So I'm just gonna undo those bobby pins and start unwrapping. baby comes to say hi you can't deny that I mean look at that face isn't she cute <laughs> she loves kisses she says hello YouTube nice to see you again <laughs> so we're just gonna continue to unwrap my hair like you can see it's messy again and you just have to manipulate those curls and twirl them back into place and then I brush my hair out. I will re-blow out my bangs just because the front section is the most important and I like the way that my bangs look when I blow them out. If there's any pieces that are kind of kinky or squared off, I'll touch them up. But other than that, that is it, you guys. They are all ready to go and I saved all that time in the morning and I curled my hair while I was sleeping. It's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe that these are heatless curls. I always thought heatless curls would never look this good, so I highly recommend. Okay, so what it says here about Savvy Curls, it says, Savvy Curls works with the natural heat zone of your scalp to achieve easy, beautiful curls or beachy waves effortlessly. Literally curl your hair in your sleep during your work or workouts at home or at play and release those luscious Hollywood-like curls. Best of all, using Savvy Curls, you maintain the integrity and health of your hair, avoiding breakage and damage caused by high heating electrical appliances. Say goodbye to tired, heat damaged hair and the appliances that caused it and say hello to healthy and gorgeous and savvy curls. So there's two different kinds of wraps and this one is the single wrap. You can see it's pretty basic. Um, I've got bobby pins on it right now but there's no foam right here. This is the part that goes in the front like right here on your head and then the insulated part right here and then this insulation also works with the heat of your body to help curl your hair so that's really cool and then here's the convertible wrap so you can see it's also got the same um, blank space right here and then it goes around so it's kind of like the single wrap right here but then it also has this piece right here for extra bulk in your hair and I'll show you how to use that but this part can also snap off so if I was you and I was like teetering on which one to get. I would get the convertible one since you can take this piece off. You could totally just use it as the single wrap. So that is my suggestion. So you stick it on your head like this and then you're just going to wrap your hair around it and I'll show you in the tutorial part just exactly how I did it and how I achieved it and I just want to say too um, after I take them out each day I also restyle my bangs because they get wet when I shower or whatnot. I sleep on them funky. Those are the most important parts. So I just like re-wet them and I blow dry them with my round brush. And then I put my oil through my hair and that's pretty much it. If I have any pieces that are really kinky or weird, I touch them up. But as far as that, that's pretty much it. It takes me like five minutes to do and I'm good to go. So the thing that I love using about these is that they're so easy, they literally take like five minutes to put in before bed, if that, and then five minutes to take out and then touch up and everything and you're out the door, your hair is done, ready to go, and you get this kind of a result, especially, I mean I have thicker hair so you can see like it creates these really pretty loose curls, really pretty loose curls. and. Um, 
Yeah, it's so easy, and then I'm not causing any extra damage to my hair, which is amazing. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked this hair tutorial using the Savvy Curls. If you like, I have a coupon code down below that'll save you a couple of bucks. It's not an affiliate code. I don't get anything from this. It just does, it just gets you money off to try out this product. So please give this video a thumbs up, leave any comments or requests down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.